We're now working on the Honda Goldwing GL 1500 1989. Color of my bike is Wineberry Red. Original owner. Never had no other service done to it but by me, by the owner. But last year I had an issue. The bike started overheating. And then two days later, it started leaking from the carburetor. So I decided now to pull this bike apart because the dealers would not touch it. And we all know if you take a Honda Go Wing to the dealer, they'll tell you straight up, they don't mess with the Go Wing. They're afraid of this bike. But let, let me show you what we got to go through. It ain't that hard. Just take your time and you'll be able to do it too. As you know, you got to remove mostly all the body panels in the front. And you'll get to the carburetor. So you, I'm quite sure everybody's been to this step here. Well, you got vacuum lines, you have hoses, you had the fuel holes, the main fuel holes. I clogged up the intake to make sure nothing would touch those, fall inside. These two hoses for the heat riser. My cables, I didn't mess up any settings. I left the settings where they were and I just disconnect the bracket. This bracket here, this is for your cruise control bracket. D cables and bracket. Those are your throttle cables. This cable here is your choke cable. Without disturbing any settings, I left those and just took them off. Now in order, as the book would tell you, in order to get to your thermostat, you will have to remove the two front radiators which I find is not necessary. You do not have to remove the radiators. I left the radiators in place. What you will have to do is remove the one bolt here and pull this out the way and just slide the radiator forward a little bit and stick a long flathead screwdriver in there to reach the clamps on both sides, on the left and right side. First, you gotta remove the reservoir bottle. And this is it right here with the two hoses. Be very careful. Take your time. There's no rest. If you like your gold wing and you enjoy the ride and you enjoy your bike, don't rush it. Everything is in due time. So once you remove the reservoir bottle, you have to remove the two clamp, the two bolts. And there's a, a little bracket here that you've got to bend back so you can get to the secondary bolt. And then you will have to push down the coil pack. But in order to push down the coil pack, there is a cable stay they have in the bike. And this is it. It holds the six cables that goes to the plugs. You must remove that. Put a little WD-40 on it and wire should be able to slide out. Don't, don't rush. It's stuck in there pretty good because you will have to force this down. Now, once you do that, you will be able to get to the hose and the two clamps, which and I did. I didn't take off the radiator, it was too much. And this is the filler hose. As you can see, set like a Y. There's three clamps, two on top, one on the bottom. And I just removed that, put that to the side. And there you will find underneath is the housing for the thermostat right here, which they have three bolts. There's one there, there's one on this side, and there's one in the back back here, right there. Once you remove that housing, you will be able to get to the thermostat. And there's no way around it. There is definitely no way around it. The way they designed the bike, you must take that carburetor off. So while the carburetor's off, I'm just saying to everyone out there, why not change the thermostat? Because if your bike is like mine, it's 31 years old now, time to change that thermostat. It's the original. So while you have the bike off and you're already into this part of the bike, do it that way. Save yourself a lot of headache of trying to replace that thermostat later. And you already had the bike apart and then you got to go back and do this all over again. All right, next video.